Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the top five best civilizations in Age of Empires 2 to counter the Franks according to the stats. Full credit goes to AoeStats.io for providing the data. So as we all know, the Franks are quite an easy Civ to use and they've got some really good uh, Civ bonuses that give them a huge power spike during the early to mid game. They reach their peak between 20 to 30 minutes once they can make knights and they've also got a 57% win rate on average during that period of the game. With the average game length being around 25 minutes, it's no wonder the Franks are sometimes considered OP as this is when they reach the peak. But because of this, understandably they're by far the most played Civ in Age of Empires 2. Dropping endless castles and attacking with a strong knight line and throwing axeman combo, Franks can be really quite hard to deal with. Where the Franks struggle a little bit is during the late game when their expensive army is quite difficult to maintain. They've begun to run out of gold, they've got quite fairly standard trash units and once the game reaches about 30 to 45 minutes they begin to lose the upper hand. Uh, with a win rate of 46% for games that go past 40 minutes. So before we dive into the top 5, it's worth having a little look at the top 5 for the higher level rated players. We've got the Incas, the Slavs and the Saracens, which are three that don't appear in the final overall list. Then we've got the Incas. One of the main strengths of the Incas is their unique unit, the Kamiyuk, which is a ranged melee unit similar to the Step Lancer and has high bonus damage against cavalry. So although it's quite a slow moving unit, it has good armor and it can certainly tear through Frank Paladin quite easily in a fight. And the Incas also have fully upgraded Halberdier and good siege options as well as their second unique unit, the Slinger, which is a really strong unit and it deals with throwing axemen really well and it's quite comparable to a hand cannoneer. So the Slavs obviously have the Drizina technology which makes their Halberdiers particularly strong and they've also got Great Siege. So the Siege and Halberdier Death Ball would be a really really good option for them as well as having the Boya to back them up. Saracens again another good strong Siege Civ. So Siege certainly seems to be a good idea. But they're also backed up with strong camels and also the Mamelukes. They do have pikemen but not the halberdier option. However, their pikemen are fully upgraded. It is important to note that these are the stats at the time of the recording. They do seem to uh, alter quite regularly, certainly at the higher level bracket. When I originally did a recording for this video, the uh, top five looked quite different. It also had the Chinese and also the Japanese. Interestingly enough, the Japanese actually had the highest win rate against the Franks in the higher level bracket but they're not even on the top five now which is uh, quite interesting so starting off the top five we have the Lithuanians so the Lithuanian bonus of having plus one attack per relic up to a maximum of plus four makes their own paladins the best in the game the problem with this is just relying on getting those relics which the Frank player will be aware of and will try and take them as well leaving you with little chance to fully exploit that bonus that said, the unique unit of the Lithuanians, the latest, ignores armor. It's cheaper, it's quicker to produce and has the extra attack from the relics, meaning that they'll stand up fairly well against Frank Castle Age Knights and supplement their own paladin later in the game. It's going to be quite hard to mass them up though in terms of big numbers. Just because they're a unique unit, you're not going to have enough castles to be able to quickly mass them up. So it's best not to rely on them as the main unit in the army. With the unique tech tower shields, their halberdier will perform better against any frank skirmishes made to counter them and they also have a great option with monks with the monastery working 20 percent faster so the next sieve is the indians so whilst having a great eco bonus of having cheaper villagers they can also produce imperial camels which are pretty deadly against paladin although they are missing the final armor upgrade which makes them a little bit more vulnerable to halberdiers they also have fully upgraded heavy cavalry archers and also have a unique tech that gives their hand cannoneers plus one range a composition of heavy cavalry archers and camels with supporting halberdier is certainly a great combo. Okay, next up we have the Celts. Again, with a strong economy bonus that enables you to wall up sooner by having less villagers on wood, you can protect yourself well during the early stages of the game. They also have fully upgraded halberdier, apart from squires, but they make up for that by having an extra 15% movement speed as a civ bonus. I think the main strength, however, lies with their siege. The siege workshops work 20% faster, their siege attacks 20 5% faster and they also have a unique tech that gives them plus 40% HP. The Celt death ball of Halberdiers and Siege is truly unstoppable. Lots of Halberdier, lots of heavy scorpions along with some Siege onagers equals GG. So then we have the second best which is my personal favourite. 
and that is the Tutans. The Tutans benefit from a strong economy uh, in terms of having the cheaper farms, but they also have a Civ bonus where the barracks and stable units have plus one armor in the Castle Age and plus two melee armor in the Imperial Age, making their Knights and Paladins as good, if not better, than Franks. Whilst the fully upgraded Halberdier with plus two armor will make light work of any Paladin, and they're not quite as vulnerable to throwing axemen as well. Not only that, they also have amazing siege options that also benefit from a unique tech that grants the siege units plus four melee armor, making it harder for the Franks Paladins to pick them off. The Halber Siege Death Ball, supported by knights, is truly, truly unstoppable, and who doesn't love two tiny knights? And the best choice of all are the Berbers. So the Berbers have an amazing bonus of cheaper stable units, 15% cheaper in the Castle Age and 20% cheaper in the Imperial Age. This really gives them a boost in terms of maintaining camel and knight production in the early Castle Age and enables them to get a third stable down sooner to mass up an army more quickly. The camel archers will work well as a supporting unit and they have a unique tech that enables their camels to regenerate health. Whilst they do lack the halberdier upgrade, their pikemen can be fully upgraded. They have fully upgraded camels and they have fairly good siege and monk options as well. So with all of these sieves, there's quite a strong anti-cavalry aspect to them through good camels or halberdier. It's also interesting to note that having strong siege options with bonuses towards them appears to be quite beneficial as well, with a halberd siege death ball being a great way to counter the Franks. So if this video has given you some ideas on how to counter all of these Frank players that you keep coming up against in the ranked queue, then do by all means give the video a like. And that's it for this one guys, I'll see you on the next one.